hơn What's going on, tickety tick tock, YouTube, YouTube? That's what I'm talking about. Not TikTok. This is YouTube, baby. That's right. Get it right. This is YouTube. Ain't that right, Trucker Avocado? Yes, it is. This is YouTube, man. How are we all doing? ladies and gentlemen i hope everybody is having a fantastic day today is thursday november 18th thursday november 18th and it is currently 4 25 in the evening and we are in canton ohio just look at that Let's get out to the interstate. Let's do some ASMR getting out to the interstate. So, like I oh, I don't know if I told you guys, but right now we're in North Canton, Ohio. I just left the TA in North Canton, Ohio off of Interstate 77. This load is picking up in, don't remember what's the name of the city, but it's picking up. And it is going to South, it's a two-stop load, and it is going to North Carolina. I believe it's one stop and the other one is in North Carolina or South Carolina. I can't remember, forgive me, for I have sinned. But, it's a okay day, it's about 43 degrees outside, pretty chilly, but we're gonna, I'm gonna power through it to keep the windows down so you guys can, you know, just get some ASMR. I've never given you guys that in this truck, and I'm, a, you know, a lot better. This is very dangerous because not even with the shade can I freaking see anything at all. This is nuts. Let's clean this real quick. This is dirty.
just in case. Yeah, that's not us. So, oh, I was on a 10 day vacation, 12 day of home time. Not really a vacation, I didn't go anywhere. I was like 12 days on home time. Didn't do much but be bored, but you know. If I'm not in the truck, I'm bored at home, honestly. Like, it, isn't that sad? that I was on here um, that got me to here so uh, well let me tell you what's been going on in the last couple of weeks so I took a load up to PA uh, well yeah so I went from Montana to Florida from Florida somewhere else oh to, I don't know whatever I think that was like a while ago anyways I took a load to Florida from Florida I drove all the way up to PA and let me just tell you guys I made it from Florida to Perth Amboy New Jersey 900 miles uh, well about, yeah like 900 yeah so no oh, okay so I was in Miami it was like about maybe 1300 miles but by the time i ended up shutting down it was like 900 900 miles i was up like towards the jacksonville area and i made it to jersey in like one day that full shift 10 a.m i mean like yeah 10 a.m 9 a.m i got up and i made it to jersey like about uh, my delivery was for like 6 a.m something like that I don't know but I made it like really quickly really nice I then flew home on a plane I like flying by the way I don't know if you guys like flying but I love flying especially when it's taking off it's fantastic so I flew home then I went ahead and and went to uh, you know went to a concert birthday party baby shower all the good stuff all the fun stuff that's why it took such a long time because they were like all kind of like back to back uh, I then uh, flew back to New Jersey uh, went back to PA picked up the truck got a load uh, that same night picking up in Delhi New York uh, which by the way sucks because there is no service over there not not a lick of service so anyhow that was in Delhi New York and then I just uh, had a stop last night at 2 a.m. Uh, the first delivery was in uh, Pittsburgh Pennsylvania and then this one was in 
um, just southeast of Cleveland, Ohio. Uh, I forget. Something Heights. Bedford Heights, Brefford Heights. This is in, it's important why you you do you know a pre-plan or a pre-trip or not nah, uh, you trip planning you know proper tr trip planning so stuff like this doesn't happen you know you follow the GPS blindly and it can get you into a situation I don't know what kind of situation I'd be awaiting up up there um, it's sending me to a you know a roundabout and go make a right but come back out the same you know so you know it's always important to do a proper pre-trip for that reason uh or trip planning you know uh one thing i like to do is i love reading the google reviews why why do i like reading the google reviews because you can see what other drivers are saying about this facility whether or not you're gonna be a while there whether or not there's overnight parking there like i mean you know just so much okay we're gonna go ahead and get in the left lane now okay after this light after this light but yeah so i mean especially for the newer drivers um the gps is a tool for you to use you know what i'm saying like do you guys i mean you guys know when you're driving your regular personal vehicle and the GPS decides it wants to go bonkers, right? It's not a great feeling at all, right? Now imagine that being in an 80,000 um, pound, 75 feet long death machine for, you know, if it's in an accident, you know, with somebody else. Nobody's gonna let me in. I need to get in before that light. Okay. All right, let's see what we got going on here. Some more ASMR. I guess this is what you would consider ASMR, right? I'm 
I'm starting off in uh, third gear um, because it is a slight downhill incline or downhill so yeah normally I start off in second gear or first gear because this is low gear so yeah but so we're gonna go up through here and we're gonna make a left up there by the BP instead of doing whatever this is telling me to do but so all I'm saying is you know especially to the newer drivers like you know a GPS is a tool you know when I learned uh, when I was training with CRST like you know my trainer didn't have a GPS like I legit Atlas Google Maps making sure you know stuff like that and you know following the instructions on the Qualcomm you know what what route they wanted me to take and it's very important um, if you don't if you guys don't have an atlas you guys need to get one I'll show you guys mine uh, not today one day because GPS is not the end-all be-all I mean, you know, you guys get lost in your vehicles and your cars and stuff like that. Just imagine in the truck, you know. It's a lot harder to get in and out of places. And yeah, but you know, that's my TED talk. Thanks for coming. But no, seriously, we are going to make a left up here because it's sending me like down that way to like go on the railroad tracks or something. I don't know. But this is where we're going. We're going to a farm. We're going to pick up some chicken. And, uh, we got to make this left up here. But I don't know if I should be, you know, cutting, you know. So we're just going to wait till we get up there. At this, you know, with this green light, we should be making it up there. But yeah, so it's like sending us down that way, roundabout, come back, whatever. Uh, but yeah, the GPS is still very helpful, but it's a tool, you know? So just, you know, make sure you always double check your routes, look at your route, know which way you're going, know what interstates you're gonna take, because at the end of the day also, if your GPL, yeah, blah, 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 if your GPS fails, then you know at least you know where you're going you know at least know your next stop or something like that so like uh oh i can't make a left oh up there okay up there by the bp yes so it's like sending me down that way to like come back around but that's not gonna happen so because it's like sending me like right there but yeah so anyhow like I said, thanks for coming to my TED Talk. Nice having you. Uh, anyways, let me know in the comments below, what did you guys eat for breakfast? Tell me what you ate for breakfast. I would like to know. Did you eat avocado toast? Did you? Or did you not? Because avocado toast is good. In the Spanish, we say pan con aguacate, which is bread with avocado, but obviously it's reversed because, you know, Spanish, Span, uh, Spanish language and English language, you know, you say everything like kind of like uh, 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 opposite, like toilet paper, paper toilet. set up to make this turn here the guard shack is gonna be up here on the left um, well while well, I'm at this light here let me go ahead so we're gonna make this left it's gonna be the first left after the gas station if you're wondering who's texting me that's actually riding with Dave and if you I don't know if I have you know all of his followers or some of it but if you guys aren't watching Riding with Dave, go watch my brother out, man. All right, 
going to be here. Yes, it is. And we're going to go. Oh, this, it did say on the, uh, it did say on the freaking reviews that this place stinks and we're picking up chicken. So, you know that trailer's gonna stink. Really, dude? Come on, like this guy, fucking dumbass. Oh, 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 oh! Fuck! That says shipping and receiving to the left. truck entrance here okay are we all like what is a uh, uh, hello okay do we just yep we actually do all right let's go ahead and drop her down What the hell is going on here? All right, I think I gotta go check in with the guard guy, I don't know. So let me go check in and I'll be right back with you guys. All right guys, so we are not checking in because we came in through the wrong entrance. And that's okay, it happens. Um, it happens, you know? So, let's go ahead and make a U-turn here somewhere. So I can get out. Uh, what I'm thinking is I'm gonna... What I'm thinking I'm gonna do is I'm gonna back up here. Yeah. I feel like that's gonna be the easiest thing for me to do here to get turned around here quickly. Because as you know, let's go ahead and cut it this way. All right, let's go ahead and back her up to the blind side here. But there's plenty of space, so I know I'll be okay. Because I don't need to go too far back. I just need to go enough far back to get some sp space so I can make this. took it too wide and that's okay rather take it too wide than too short I would have hit a freaking pole and a car and all that stuff but that's okay no worries all right let's go ahead and Man, 
I just freaking cleaned the truck today too, man. So like I kind of vacuum out the truck every single day or every other day at least. And um, also, you know, mop it or not mop it, but spray some Fabuloso on the floor. And, you know, get some bounty, some, um, what do you call that? Uh, you know, paper towels. to wait for this guy to go ahead and get out I don't think I I don't believe I can make that turn so or unless I have to go all the way down that way but I doubt it because yeah okay you can go you can go Yeah, I, I, there's no way I can make that turn actually, so. Yeah, we're just gonna wait for him here. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, wait to get checked in and all that stuff, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, we made it in. Oh, almost. Let's go ahead and turn these on. Um, all right, come on, buddy. Go ahead and put myself off duty real fast. All right, let's go ahead and see what this guy's about. Oh, come on, buddy. Nice and easy. Oh, 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 oh. And we are going for door four. All right. All right. Let's see what we can do here. All right, we're gonna come all the way this way because we're gonna need all that space over there, all of it. <sighs> Hang on, somebody just honked. Give me a second, let me find out what's going on. Oh, the guy honked because he was backing up. tight and bumpy and neither of those two things are good for me okay. all right I need to reset up Somebody's help. All right, let's. 
actually go more this way, see if we can go more this way and then see if that gives us to the right actually oh. all right let's go ahead and get out and look and see where we're at with the end of our trailer here. Oh my. Oh, perfect. I actually think I got, I think I got plenty of room here. Actually, I just gotta keep going it, uh, keep jacking it jackknifing it a little bit more just to get it to come a little bit more and I can then start getting under it and then from there we'll uh, kind of have like kind of like a straight back in um, some sort Just back and forth, nice and easy, baby. Nice and easy. All right, nice and easy, baby. Buddy, what you doing? What you doing, buddy? I gotta open my doors. All right, looks like we're gonna go ahead and open our doors now. Right in the puddle. Oh, oh. My hat and camera almost fell in that freaking puddle. Remember these gloves, guys? I got these from Tractor Supply. Yep, and they're still good. Stop the shenanigans. Stop your shenanigans, avocado. You're a mature avocado. All right, let's come to the right a little bit. Let's turn this off. I'm gonna go ahead and put the window down. 
ça. This place were any tighter, we'd be smelling each other's farts.